Well, hello there, guys. This is Stephanie in the Soul Sister Monarch channel. How are you guys doing, Divine Masculines? All right. Well, let's jump into it, man. I'm going to end up doing another Divine Feminine read because I didn't even get near as far as I wanted to on that reading. Um, anyways. Um... All right, a few things. So, we've got a 5-5 five, five portal coming up, okay? There's also a lunar eclipse. We went retrograde today. Yay! I mean, Mercury went retro again. So, we're in the post-retrograde energy now. So, give you guys at least another 10 days before things really are the cloudy thoughts. Um the energy that you have been lacking comes back um some of you've been having headaches some of you have been having just weird you haven't felt good i'll just put it that way you have not felt good divine masculines um and that's you're you're purging things from the past you're letting things go um that don't serve you anymore you're stepping into who you are and you're accepting it you're actually accepting this so that's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Um, all right. So we got money changing. So like a job change for a couple of you out there. Um, God, I keep hearing change of hands with money too. So I don't know what that's about. Um, there's a couple of you out there that unfortunately you're going backwards you are not honoring yourself you're not honoring who you are we got a namaste blessing in reverse you're not honoring and respecting the others that you're around um for who they are what they are what they bring to the table it's a very um egocentric energy um my way the highway the way I know things to be, that's the way it is. Nobody's going to change my thoughts about this. And that's fine. Um, but you're not allowing others to have their opinions. You're not allowing others to think the way that they want to think about things. Okay. So that's for somebody out there. Um, but yes, there is a, there's big changes with money coming on. Those of you that decided to have patience. You will be rewarded. Uh, those of you that did not, you're in this namaste energy in the reverse. You're not honoring yourself. You're not honoring others. Um, this is going to create squabbles. Okay. Um, when this God comes down. So these are, um, these are angel cards, but they, they send down different gods. Okay. This is the fourth bearing, forbearing God, excuse me. Okay. Um, I can't say this angel's name. A-C-H-A-I-A-H. Anyways, um, when this angel is sent down, it's kind of funny because the namaste card was right, right there. Um, I keep hearing privacy. Somebody's privacy has been invaded illegally. It's coming out. Yeah. This angel has come down to open this up. Um, I keep hearing publicly, um, this person is bringing knowledge to the surface. This, um, it's a masculine energy that's bringing knowledge to the surface. Hmm. I keep hearing undercover, undercover. There's somebody undercover. <laughs> And one of these karmic groups, and they don't know it. <laughs> they think the person that's hanging out with them, buddying up with them, schmoozing with them, is their buddy. They're not. They're there to collect information. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And these people are spilling it. Spirit says they're letting it all hang out. <laughs> okay. Um... Anyways, when this one is sent down, 
this person is sent down, this angel, this is, um, so those of us and the collective that have businesses um, outside of our regular jobs that have to do with like humanity, uh, that people are trying to block it, um, trying to stop us from talking. They don't want us to be seen. They want us to be in the shadows. They don't want us to be heard. They don't want, they're so afraid that, oh my God, other people might get on the same path as them. And maybe we can turn this world around and do something really good. There's a group of people out there that are fearing this. There are so many of us out there that are not shutting up. We're talking. We're sticking up for ourselves. There are so many of us that our channels are always, like, they're being reported. We upload, man, someone's on it, reporting it, saying something about it. Um, so much so that there's a bunch of us that, I mean, like me, if you don't, if you don't have your notification bell on or go look at my channel every day, you probably won't know that anything's even uploaded because the things that are going on. Some of the times I'm in the feed during the day because I watch all kinds of different videos and things when I'm working. But I watch a lot of stuff that's going on around the world and ancient knowledge. And I mean, I watch all kinds of different stuff. But um, sometimes the videos are glitching in the feed. Meaning somebody just downloaded a video. As you're scrolling down, that same video pops up again. So it's like doubled. I mean, and I've heard a couple of other people out there say that there's um, subscribers um, are telling them that they're unsubscribed and they didn't unsubscribe. <laughs> you know, um, I said it a couple of weeks ago on my channel. It may, it may have only been two weeks ago. Somebody was in on my, in my settings and they were subscribing me to channels that are in English. I only speak English. I wouldn't sign up. I would not subscribe to those. No. You know? So anyways, the point of this is there's money that has, that has been <laughs> put on the line with this. Okay. Some of us um, are not getting the monies that should be coming in that have to do with our channels because there's blockages. There's people that are remixing our videos, using them, and they're the ones that are making the money. Why we're stagnant, but yet these are the ones that are also reporting us, have the gang stalking going on, have gotten groups together to blackball us. Now, whatever needs to be done, get it, get them blacklisted, shadow banned. I mean, so the light is going to be shown on these people specifically. Now, another thing I didn't talk about, um, uh, there, did I say? I think I did. We're having another f full moon. So this is a uh, full moon Scorpio. So this is, these people are going to really wish that all the things that they've done in the last, I mean, the last year's bad enough, but a bunch of these people have years and years and years of stuff that they've been doing to you guys behind the scenes. This is friends. This is family. This is coworkers. This is anybody that you would know um, that they just don't want to see you happy. They don't want to see you move forward. It's very sad. It's it's not the energy I like to roll in. I don't understand why we can't celebrate each other. But anyways, some of you masculine energies, and I've been saying this forever, that we need more of you out here. We need you guys to step up. Um, there's several people that are doing it now. Um, and I've sub subscribed, if you go down and you'll see the, the one, the masculine channels that I've subscribed to, they're great. They're, they're all different, very diverse, different from each other. They all have something wonderful to bring to the plate. Um, they, they all have, uh, love in their hearts. Um, some of the, I mean, they're all very different. Like I said, um, some are calm readers, some are, are not, um, some are very animated, some of them are very serious, but you can find somebody to your liking out there. But like I said, um, this is going to open up things. Okay. With this a full moon with Scorpio, woo! there's a lot of people that are going to wish that they made some different changes because, uh, and this eclipse energy. So, you know, Dorothy, I mean, Dorothy. Hmm. That's weird. Okay. So maybe there's a Dorothy out there. Anyways, um, I had an aunt named Dorothy. Anyways, um, with this energy, okay. 
there's going to be a lot of towers. Because there's a lot of people that have resisted um, making things right with people that they know that they should have. There's a lot of people out there that do not want to make things right for the simple fact that everything that they did to certain people, they were saying horrible, rotten, nasty things about the person or persons. When in fact, they didn't look at their own lives. They didn't see who they were. They didn't see how selfish they were. They didn't see how egotistical they were. And they don't understand the, the person or persons they came up against. So therefore, they had to start these um, the hate train, the hate campaign, the smear campaigns, whatever. But going against certain people. And it... I, it's like a sickness. It becomes an obsession. Like these people get addicted to, to hating on other people. They get addicted to try, trying to uh, tear others down, destroy them, not let them get ahead of them. Um, it, it's that energy for like, okay, like you have, say you come from a family and people are expected to be successful. Okay. Um, but there's only certain people that, um, Certain family members only feel like certain people have earned that role. Or there, or there's only enough room in this family for one legend here. You know, we can't have a whole bunch of you running around being awesome and wonderful. There can only be one of you. The rest of you, you got to be, you know, down here below everybody else. Because why? Because these people need whipping posts. They need scapegoats. They need the fall guy, the fall girl. Uh, that person that the everybody can turn around and go, yeah, see, look at that. Um, it's all coming to an end. It's all coming to an end. There's too many good things going on in the world. There's a lot of stuff that's going on that's hard for us to deal with this. But there's a lot of really good things going on. And there's going to be a change. There is going to be a change. And there's so many people that have channels. And like I have, and we have had uh slow progress um people are trying to stop us that's going to be cleared out that's going to be cleared out and when that's cleared out there's going to be a lot of people that are going to make new friends they're going to come together because of their different stories their challenges the things um that they've gone through um that they've you know prevailed um there's going to be people that are going to come together um, and they're going to share their stories and they're going to be couples. Um, they're, uh, Grace on Fire and Mr. What, he's called Mr. Light, Lightworker or something like that. Anyways, they're, they're, they're a couple. They're married. Um, they're amazing. They, they do stuff together and they each have their own channels. She works on the Divine Femmes. He works for the Divine Masculines. Um, he also reads for the Divine feminines and she does for the masculines and then they'll even come together and they do stuff together as a couple there is a need for more of the this is what the that's what these people out here are trying to stop they're trying to stop people coming together to do good out here and to help others okay there's tons of you out here that had um met a soulmate a life partner a twin flame, a twin ray, whatever you title you want to slap on it, but you and this person, no matter what, have a soul connection, a spirit connection like no other. And you guys were ripped apart by other people. One of you was stronger than the other, and the stronger one went, well, peace out. I got to go. I got things to do. Um, I can't hang around here and and do what you're doing anymore. And the other person took the easy road, not the high road. They took the easy road. And um, many of these people now are in regret. They feel bad. They they don't want to be where they're at. They look back now at that person that um, they either, you know, they parted from. Went, wow, look where that person is now. That person's really taken off. That person, th things are changing so positive for this person. Man, I went through all this crap and... I'm just right back where I was before, you know, this is just same 
types of people, but they're just, the um, envir environment might be a little bit different, you know? The friend group may have changed a little bit, but basically everyone's doing the same crap that they were doing before. Same shit starters, just different names, different faces, same behaviors, just like I said, different, different people, different places. Um, but the, people are going, I don't want to do this anymore. I want to change. So they want to go back to that person. And it's possible. There's uh, like a, Grace and her um, husband went through this. I watched them years and years ago when they went through theirs. And uh, he, he, he came back. He did. She, she wanted him to come back. He came back. They got back together. Um, and for them, it turned out to be a beautiful thing. They're helping a lot of people. So my whole point to this in all my rambling, right, is there's tons of people out there that have created such wedges and they have come between so many of you and created so many rotten, horrible things in hopes that you and this person will not come back together. Because when you do, and you two come together, this is going to be a force that is nobody will be able to come up against. You two will not be torn apart again. If, if those of you choose to get back together, this is not for everybody. But some of you, yes, because we need more of these couples out there. We need more of these couples out there. Just like we need more of you masculines out there. This is a must, okay, to step up and help humanity. Um, there's so many of you that are so gifted and you're so talented and you know it. You're not afraid of it anymore, but there's a piece of you that is afraid to go public. And I get it. It took me quite a while too. I don't care anymore. I'm totally uh, comfortable now. Um, in the beginning, it, it, it it's kind of awkward and weird because like I, you're sitting here and you don't have an audience. You have yourself. But when you learn to connect with your audience, not with you, they are here. Okay? You guys are all energetically with me. So many of you have followed me for a long time. Um, and I have your energy with me. And so your stories have gotten picked up and you've evolved with me as we've gone on over time here. Um, and it's just beautiful. It's it, it, it's beautiful. Um, some of you are afraid of your gifts. Yeah, some of you are afraid of your gifts. So let's see. Let's move on and see what we have here. King of Swords. Ooh, victory. Wow. Okay, so, huh. This is, La I can't even say this one either. L-A-U-I-A-H. Okay, this is the exalted God. Okay, this is a cherub that they send down that's really powerful. And this is for the King of Swords. Okay, he's had enough. <sighs> yeah, he wants victory, but he wants it with the right person. Okay, this is all about um, protection too. Okay. Um, <laughs> picking up on two different um, masculine energies here. So there's one that wants to come back collective and they want victory with you. And they want to protect you, okay? Um, for some of you, this is a twin flame energy, okay? He comes with a lightning bolt. So for some of you, this is a twin flame energy. Um, some of you, this is someone that thought that they were your twin flame. They are not. They, but they have convinced themselves. You're never, you're not going to be able to unconvince this person. Okay. Um, they're pissed off. Be, well, beyond pissed off, I heard. Okay. Uh, they want revenge. Yeah. So for some of you, oh, oh, yeah. Okay. Well, we got another story here now. So for the divine femmes that, that, you know, watch this, um, Oh boy. Okay. So some of you, this masculine was your friend. Okay. Um, 
the, the this masculine read more into it. You never let led them on to believe there would ever be more. Um, they couldn't accept it. This person tried to bend over backwards for you, tried to show you. Oh, hold on, I just noticed something here. Yeah. Yeah. Total twin flame. And portal energy, number 11. I just noticed on there. Um, anyways, and this is this is seven too. It's all very spiritual right here. But anyway, um, this king of swords, they just figured, I mean, they're still hold, holding a torch for you. They just figured that if they held on long enough and they like showered you with gifts, um, they tried to, I mean, you guys were great friends, but they thought, they just figured if they held on long enough, um, you would come around to see things their way. <laughs> I mean, that they don't care. They want you to see it their way. They know you're not in love with them. They've always known that. They've always known because your friend zoned them from the very beginning when they tried to put a move on you. And you put them in the box, the friend box. You let them know. And they're, ah, oh, it's okay. It's okay. Okay. I'd rather be your friend than nothing at all. Okay. Well, that was a lie. So now they're mad. They're they're angry. They're running around town. I heard tattle telling on you. Whatever, right? Good luck with that. Your badass self. But anyways, this person's running around, just trying to cause problems. Okay. Um. But what they're forgetting is now everybody's looking at them as they're creepy. They're obsessed. This isn't normal. And everybody knows that you guys were just friends. So now everybody's going, okay, we see why she stepped away from you. Okay. Anyways, for somebody out there, <clears throat> one of you fans that watch, and this person's coming back. They just want to cause trouble. They do not want you to be happy. Whatever it takes. They feel like you ripped their heart out. You cut them off for whatever reason that you needed to. Um, and I heard that you pre-warned them several times. Yeah. But they've taken this beyond, uh, to, they've taken this to a whole nother level. This person just thinks about how they can get back at you. Revenge. Revenge. Anyways, light them a candle, send them love. Um, all right. What else do we have? Oh, good. let me go back. Hold on. Let me tap back here. Let's see. Uh. For a couple of you, um, there was somebody, and I picked up on this. I've uploaded three besides the one that's uploading right now. It's 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 within all the new ones that I've uploaded in the last couple of days. But you got to go back and watch all of them. But there is somebody from your childhood. He's a king of swords. For some of you. You've known this person since, yeah, you were in... Um, Sorry, I, I heard some somebody outside. Um, junior high, high school, maybe some of you went even to elementary school together. Um, for some of you, this person has also been a friend of your family. You had some kind of interaction. Some of you, it was romantic. Some of you, they were like your very best friend. But they did something. They crossed the line with you somewhere. I, I, they're, they're telling me they can't, re I just keep hearing, no, they can't return. They can't return. Meaning you're not supposed to let them return. They're going to try to come back this person is they can't return because this person like they talked really horrible rotten stuff about you they said things about you that weren't true if you if you were um romantically involved with this person oh yeah they told everybody about everything mm -hmm. they did they thought they were humiliating you but they were actually humiliating themselves so when you go out and you go talk about your sex life to other people 
to tear another person down, that just shows really who you are and how damn insecure you are in bed. Just saying. Um, and okay, there's another energy out there that for some of you, you just met a king of swords or you just started dating a king of swords, but there's a king of swords energy that just came into your life. So that can be Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Um, just talked about this. Go watch the fem um, one that uploaded this king. Um, it's not like you guys are girlfriend and boyfriend, nothing like that. You guys just start seeing each other. I wouldn't even say that like you're dating, dating. You like know this person. You may have hung out, whatever. Anyways, this person didn't plan on liking you. This person didn't plan plan on having anything with you other than spending time with you. They thought you were fun, you're interesting, you're beautiful, you have a great sense of humor. Well, guess what? They got to spend some more um time getting to know you um and they fell in love with you mm -hmm. yeah they did they didn't want to they didn't even plan on i talked about this in the last this person does, has kind of given up on love um they've been a worker bee very much involved love their kids um but the, this masculine energy um was just all about the single life dating playing the field um just having fun out there and man come across you and that was it so um he's scared he's in runner energy um somebody has also tempted him because um this is i've been picking up on this one too that um whoever he is connected to one of you you guys are supposed to come together and do great things and some of these past people in your life um, don't want this to happen. So they've been doing a lot of stuff energetically, um, and other things to stop this, but never fear. He's coming in on fire. All right. Okay. 10 of pentacles. Ha! Ah, see, I just said this person has been working like crazy. Okay. This is the honorable God. Okay. This is about inner and outer work. It helps one keep their job and protects against disasters. Huh. Imagine that. Way to go, divine masculine. So we definitely have a king of swords out here. He's a war he's been working very hard. Very, very, very hard. He wants to build something. This masculine wants to come back in with you and build with you. But they want to come back in with something. They, they, they Whoever you are, they didn't quite know who you were. Well, when they finally got to sit down and figure out who you were, they were blown away. They're like, I got to step up my game. <laughs> and he did. He stepped it up. Ten of Pentacles. Like, seriously? That's awesome. All right. Ace of Swords. This is all about the truth. Okay. Oh, boy. So, this is uh, God above all names elevated. Okay. So, this one, when, when he comes in. Oh, boy. I need my glasses. I can't see. Hold on. I left them in the other room. I do this every time. I'll be right back. All right. So, there's truth coming. This person knows, they sat back and, and they, they ghosted you or did whatever they did. Because um, th at first they thought, oh, I'll just, you know, kind of tell a, a little fib, right? And then they realized who you are. Like, I can't lie to this person. No, that'll be it. She'll know. She'll know. Um... So, anyways, this person's going to come in with the truth. 
they know it's the right thing to do. To do okay, um, this is about inf the um, about affinity. This is friendship, obtaining the friendship. Okay. Wow. There's somebody that it, it was telling a lot of lies on you, collective. And there was somebody that was telling a lot of lies on this masculine. He's slaying them all. He's like, I'm, yeah. Anyways, he's got a lot of help. Look at this angel. Huh. Yeah. All right. So, divine masculine. You know that saying, build it, they will come. Fill the dreams. Here you go, baby. Ten of Pentacles. Build it. They will come. It's your dream. Okay. Build this with uh, pure intentions. Okay. I picked up on some of you guys that there's some of you divine masculines out there have been messing around with the little street rat, street cat. And um, this person plays in the moon. She plays in the moon cycles. Okay. Well, she's been trying to bind herself to you, my dear. Mm -hmm. And there's a couple of you that tried to bind yourselves to your divine feminine. It won't work. <laughs> Just so you know, they won't work. You have to be willing to be binded to. I don't know why people don't understand this. Story. It's like sex magic. I mean, all the different things. Like, all the different stuff. I was, I was, I was, anyways. I was laughing so hard at somebody the other day. Because it came up. She, I don't know who this person is. But she came up in the feed. feed and she was teaching people how to do mirror magic. <laughs> Why are you teaching people how to do magic on themselves? I mean, really? 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 <laughs> oh, my God. It was so funny. Anyway, she even demonstrated it. <laughs> I was laughing so hard. It was a quick clip. But, yeah, it was like one of those trains. It's like, you know, car wreck. You're like, oh, I'm not going to look. And you do. Yeah, it was one of those moments I had. <laughs> Oh, honey, I'm so interested. Cause I'm gonna see what this fool's got to say. <laughs> oh man, the old mirror magic. Ah, new mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all, right? All right. Well, he's wanted to come out twice now. The bone collector and the goblins. Ah, somebody doesn't want you to have new beginnings. <laughs> somebody does not want you to go to your divine feminine. They don't want you to have this field of dreams. They know that you're in the Ten of Pentacles and they want to, they want that for themselves. They don't want it for you. They want to create all kinds of crazy change in your life. So I told you some of them is messing around with this moon energy. Mm-hmm. Hmm, that was weird. <sighs> details, details. <laughs> God. It's your destiny, divine masculine. Yeah. This person wants so bad. This karmic, they want to be your destiny. Look at this person. They're nuts. They created their own ending. <laughs> They did. They created their own ending of their own destiny and with you. Wow. This person's like delusional. Mm-hmm. Totally, this person's into mirror magic. Look. Anyway. Um, yeah. You you have pure intentions, Okay. And so that's, that was it. That's funny. That card just came up because that's another one of the reasons when people are messing around with all this, uh, 
dark arts, voodoo, all that stuff. Um, the different kinds of um, magics out there and practices. Um, <clears throat> if you're not doing it with pure intention, it's, it's not going to do anything. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> oh my God, I just flipped this over. Okay, the hanged man, okay? So this is the only God, okay? Oh boy, somebody is in deep shit. Anyways, when this one gets sent down, oh, this is a game changer, man. Desire for knowledge protects from liars, evil spells, and bad spirits. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and I was just talking about pure intention. These people, when they're in this kind of a mode, there is no intentions here that are good. Oh my God, wait till you hear the next card. <laughs> wow, okay, I want to go back to the bone collector. Let's go back to the bone collector. Hold on, I want to read you about the bone collector, okay? So the bone collector, you are whole and have everything you need within you. When the bone collector appears, she is asking you to look closely at your circumstances to see if you're fully present or, re or reacting out of past conditioning and unconscious expectations. Whenever we're wounded, especially when we're young, it's as if something essential is stolen from us. We adapt and accept a version of the truth uh, that then sets us up to behave in a certain way in the future. When faced with a situation similar to the original event, what we know about ourselves thus becomes influenced by a, by a uh, perception of limitation. You may feel unworthy or without courage. You may see yourself as flawed or unlovable or expect to be criticized. The bone click to remind you that the truth is that you are a powerful being with limitless possibilities. She has kept, she has kept safe what was stolen from you in the wounding and is here for you as you reclaim it now. You have everything you believe you lack and the bone collector is your inner source. As Act as if you have what you need and you'll find you have it all. Anything is possible with awareness. The wound of the past need not define you. Ah, masculine. We like that one. Yes. This, this is a fairly new deck, so some of these cards I don't know that well. Okay, and we got the Magic Stream, all right? Everything is connected through the universal flow of consciousness, okay? So every experience you have seems to have its own life story. With a beginning, a middle, and eventually, of course, you have an end. However, there is danger in seeing events as a separate from one another, since in fact they are all part of a continue, continuity and a greater evolution. Like an ever flowing magic stream, your experience is filtered through the whole world, one leading into another, informing and influencing still more. Inspiration, invention, and reevaluation rarely come to just one person. So the collective awareness is a shared storehouse of potential. When you remember you're part of the fluid continuity of life, you become a channel for great inspiration. Allow the magic to flow through you and carry your dreams into a reality. Reality. Your success will benefit many. See how important you are? I love it. Aw. See? There's divine masculine out there. You're very sweet. But this sweetness only comes out of you around a certain person, particularly. That's part of the reason why you're so attracted to this person. Above many other qualities this person has. But there's one quality about this person that uh, you find very... Um, <laughs> I heard you said sexy, but it's not like, it's not sexy. It's this person, they would heal your ouch, okay? This person is very nurturing, very loving. The, the touch of this person to you 
it does something to you that nobody's ever been able to do, okay? Nobody's been able to do to you. So, I don't know. Put it put it where put that one where it goes, all right? All right. What else we got? Oh, it's a lot, spirit. Wizardness of awareness. All right, Divine Masculines, <clears throat> some of you have stepped into this wizard energy, but you're stuck in the mud, okay? Some of you are <laughs> practicing a craft. Some of you, oh, shit. Oh, man, are you kidding? No. Okay, well, that's weird. We got pure intention and we have intention. Hmm. Okay, this just evolved into a whole nother damn story. Yeah. Okay, we're going back to this person here for a minute. Then we're going to move. There's a lot going on here. Anyways, this person... Is feels like home to you. That's the only way to explain this feeling that this person gives you. You just feel like home. This person holds a lot of knowledge. They have a lot of um, crazy wisdom. Like you could talk for hours. You could sit up for hours and hours and hours and pick this person's brain. You find them fascinating, very amusing. You know that saying, I have it over my bed with my grandma, La, live, laugh, love. That's this person to you. Live, laugh, love. Beautiful energy. But they're home to you. This person is home to you. Okay? But you got someone in the background that's trying to destroy this for you. Okay? There's someone, Divine Masculine, you're connected to. This is, this is. A, like I said, this is somebody that's in their air energy. Some of you, you're Libra, uh, Gemini, Aquarius, Masculines. This, this feminine floats your boat, I heard. She floats your boat. Okay? Um, we're going to go back to this in a minute. But this King of Swords energy too. I think something has been awakened in you by this feminine energy. She carries a very Queen of Wandsy energy that you are very um, attracted to. Okay? It's very mysterious. You find her, uh, I mean, you're very curious. She makes you feel curious. She makes you want to learn. She makes you want to be a better person. You're actually afraid that you aren't good enough for this, this feminine energy. And that's not true at all. Um, she's just built equipped differently than you. And um, there's many wonderful things about you that you don't realize. She probably wishes she could be more like you. You guys are going to balance each other out really well. Okay? You're both a lot alike. But you're both different. Where's that? Let's see. Where's that deck? <clears throat> yeah, you're both a lot alike, but you're both very, very different. Okay? Let's see. Are these in order? Yeah. All right. Let's give her a spin. Okay, let's go back to this really quick. These two here. And I'll just shuffle while we're, I'm talking about these. Okay. So, anyways, you remember I said um, knowledge. Here we go again. So, you hold deep knowledge within you. Okay. You do, Divine Masculine. You hold deep knowledge within you. It has been dormant. And, I mean, she's a catalyst for you, okay? That's part of her job here. 
even if you guys don't ever get back together again or you don't move forward with this relationship with her she is the catalyst for you so wherever you move on to with whomever you move on to she just lit the spark that died inside you okay so um then this is awesome because we got ten of cups i mean you got ten of pentacles ten of cups yeah i mean you couldn't have asked for anything better here okay this is this one uh this is the god master of the universe okay uh, this one works right alongside metatron okay so this is the, the divine warrior confounds the wicked brings victory and peace and I'm telling you, things are going to get cleared out. People are going to wish they would have just owned up. They would have made things right with you guys. They would have not come against you. They would have done all the crazy not nonsense. I mean, some of this stuff that's happened to you guys, it's so out of control. Like, you get right movies about this shit, right? Anyways. I just keep hearing heads are going to be rolling. Heads are going to be rolling. So this king of swords here, you have the ten of pentacles and the ten of cups. Like seriously? Wow. Hmm. Ha! I just split the deck. Okay, one fell out on the ground. I haven't picked it up yet. Oh my God. Oh. <gasps> This is so cool. Look, King of Swords. Look at you. Look how magical you are. Woo! Yeah, baby. Absolutely. And that was funny. That is so funny because in my head, I'm like, man, the King of Wands hasn't come out here yet. Like, in this deck over it, I'm like, I haven't seen the King of Wands yet. I know this masculine is on fire and has passion for whoever his feminine energy is here that he's after. And the next card, King of Wands. <laughs> ah, look! Yes! Abundance! Woo! You're the hero, baby! Ah! Yeah, you've had some serious reflecting though. <laughs> you've had to work on that's some shadow work right there. That that's that's ouch. <laughs> Don't worry, she'll heal that for you. Yeah. And then when I split the deck, look, because remember I'd split it? Destiny on this side. She is part of your destiny. Not the fool you were playing around with in the sandbox. Drop her back off with the little kids. Okay? And this is destiny and destiny, okay? Now, the sewer maiden that you were out, you know, playing around with the street rat, the street rats, okay? She's trying to take your destiny. She's trying to put, insert herself into your destiny. But no, 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 this is yours. All yours, my dear. Look at you. Look at you. Hmm. You love this person. This, like I said, this this feminine. She has yet to come out. Maybe there's a reason. So uh, she doesn't come out. You know who she is. She knows who she is. And wow. That's nuts. There's also a king of cups out here. Um, that divine masculine that this, this scenario is happening to you as well. So you're a Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. So we have a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And we have a Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. Okay. But some of it doesn't, don't get stuck on the signs. You guys love the signs. We always say the signs. I mean, you could be a king. Like we, I just picked up her. I mean, King of uh, Swords energy, and you might not be your sun sign or your moon sign. You could just have a ton of air in your chart. 
Uh, but you're also in the King of Wands energy. So, I mean, you're mastering several kings. But this, this, this one right here that I just picked up on, he's a water sign. Okay. And this card, he's not. He's fire. But this is a water sign. Okay. Anyways, um, he's also battling. This is a build a bitch he, he, he hooked up with. Yeah. Oh, boy. We got the death energy lurking. Mm-hmm. And you got a pregnant uh, wannabe empress out here, too. So, this king of cups energy, he's been working on himself, battling his, I mean, battling himself, excuse me, and trying to balance out his duality. Okay. This masculine's fiery. He's got a lot of fire in his chart. This King of Cups energy. Yeah. Oh, guess who he was playing around with? Queen of Wands. I guess he can't get rid of her. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, these two got hot and heavy. But she gets hot and heavy with everyone. Um, there is a crone energy out here that I do not like. Shit. I just split the deck. Uh, okay. All right, some of you are dealing with a queen of pentacles energy. Um, this king of swords. The feminine that you're attached to, this is not her sun sign, but this is what she's in. This is the mode. She, she's in the queen of pentacles right now, okay? She's not feeling lovey-dovey, cuddly, now, th this person's got their head down, they're working, they're focused on their money. That's it. Their career, this is a boss bitch, okay? Um, back to that King of Cups. He's connected with an earth sign, too. And so's this crone, and so's this other, uh, emperor. there's an emperor, uh, there's an empress. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, toxic in reverse. Oh my God, it just gets to keep deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper. Anyways, here's your battle of your bitches. Yeah. You gotta go watch that other video because some of you are, are in these open relationships, man. And so that's all this is. You know, so should I be Friday night? Should I be Saturday night? Oh, should I be top or bottom or behind? I mean, I don't know. It's also confusing. These these people, they're, they're even confused. Yeah, everybody's trying to steal each other's destiny. I mean, this is just crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. But anyway, um... There's a king of earth out here that's trying to interfere in everybody's business. He just likes to stir up shit. That's that's what he's good at. And spirit says he's added it. He's at it again. He knows about this eclipse. He knows about this full moon. He figures he's got one last shot before he goes to jail soon. Okay. So I don't know. Whoa, now I just look down. Five of Cups. After I was talking about him, I was guided to, over, to look over there. So, uh, when <laughs> this is the God, King, and Ruler, okay? He is sent down to protect all you guys that are upright, your prosperity, the destruction of the enemy, and deliverance from bondage. Hmm. 
Hmm. Imagine that. Bondage. So, we got people over here with pure intentions. We got people over here with evil intentions. We got people that have been, oh my God, wielding, like they, like they, they do spell work, like this is like they're popping it, like Tic Tacs or something. I'm, I don't know. I don't understand this. I don't get it. They're screwed though. Okay. I, I, yeah. Gee. And then they're sending down God, um, hearing lament. Hold on. I can't see this. This is the three of pentacles. Okay. These, they're all partnering up to come down and protect you guys. This is huge. Wow. Okay. This is all about, this is God hearing lamentations okay this is all about mental force okay these people have been messing with you guys god protects against sorrows and illnesses yeah send the damn spell work trying to make you guys sick trying to do things to stop your money trying to redirect the flow of your prosperity prosperity and abundance towards them Trying to tap into... These people can't even create any of their own stuff. I mean, oh my God, what a giant waste of fucking time. It's so annoying to me. Really, choose happiness. God, it's not that hard. Man. These people count on so many people. The people's energy. People to, to, to make them happy instead of them making themselves happy. They, you name it, they count on people for it. They can't do a damn thing for themselves, these people. None of them. Nope. 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 Hmm. So, this is the last one I'm going to read of this deck. So, we already had an, oh my God, we're already at an hour. Okay. So, Nine of Wands. This is it. This is like, can't take it anymore. No more. There's blood all over this poor little god that's coming down. The god of impenetratable, impenetratable secrets. Hmm. Right? Universal medicine. Elevation of the soul and the revelations of mysteries. Telling you, Divine Masculines. Okay, I have to read one more because this, this one we have to have. Okay, all right. This is the sun card, okay? This is the vivifying God. Restoration of life, protection from adversaries, rabies, and wild beasts. Really? Wow. Some of your karmics got rabies. <laughs> Yeah, and some of them are definitely wild beasts. I think there's a divine masculine here somewhere that's literally hiding out. There's a crazy karmic on the loose, and they're hiding from this. Yeah. Yeah. This feminine is lost their mind. Yeah, there's a feminine now. She's lost her mind. But anyway, moving on, moving on, moving on. Okay, Divine Masculine, just keep up with the, your intentions. Because you got intentions, you got pure intentions here. So you also have the fairy over you that's helping you with your manifestations, okay? You help me wish wisely, okay? Be careful with this when you're manifesting right now. If it's not coming from your heart and it's not the pure, purest of the highest good, they're going to turn that around on you, Okay? So if you're wielding, I have a feeling some of you masculines out here are wielding. Just do the white light. You write. You can light any candles you want with beautiful intentions. Just don't do it with negativity. Don't do it with um, intent to harm or hurt anybody, okay? See, this is all about being wise with your intentions. Being smart with your intentions. This one's all about pure heart. This one's about being smart. 
There's somebody trying to outsmart you guys. It's a feminine, though. She thinks that she's smarter than you. Mm-hmm. She's young. You need to use discernment against this person because this person's going to come back and try to be generous with you. She may buy you, gift things to you. It's to trap you. So you won't go to your divine counterpart. I'm telling you. Okay. This is like one of my most favorite cards ever. Namaste blessing. The divine in me acknowledges the divine in you. I bow to you and I honor your inner light of pure and unconditional love. Eternal peace be with you. Eternal love be with you. Eternal joy be with you through the serendipitous blessing. This is in the reverse. You're with somebody divine masculine that doesn't honor you. Okay? You tried to honor them, they don't on they don't honor you. They're not divinely guided to you. They don't they don't have pure intentions. They don't live in they don't evoke light. They don't shine light. This person's dark. They don't have un they don't have unconditional love, agape. <clears throat> agape. This person's codependent with you. Big time. Oh my god. And then guess what's the next one? It's in reverse too. A blessing in a relationship. Seriously? A current relationship is reflecting something that is wounded inside you. A wound from long ago, perhaps even from the past life. Look within, find the part of you that is wounded and send it love. All will heal and you will be stronger and wiser for it. Well, this is in the reverse because you... you you, you've been around her. Look at the back of these cards. These are cool, though. I love the back of these cards. All right. This is a blessing blocker. You, you, you chose a blessing blocker. I hate to tell you, but you did. So you're with a blessing blocker. But you got a blessed gift. Something beautiful soon manifests. Trust that all is unfolding in the most perfect way for you and all concerned. Have faith and continue to hold positive and loving thoughts. A blessed gift is on its way. That's your divine feminine. Yes. Forward movement. Okay. Forward movement only. The build the bitch? No, that's not your destiny, okay? Not at all, okay? All right. Pulled two um, crystal cards for you guys. So, aquamarine, this is all about courage. This is about your throat chakra. Um, it's the number four. So, this is about you not having courage. This is about your foundation. This is about the direction you want to go in. This is about stability. So this is upright. You're finally going to have the courage to speak on this. Tell the people what you want, not what everybody wants for you. This is about you, not everyone else, okay? So get some aquamarine. I don't have any here on this table. Um, that will help you out a lot. Aquamarine, okay? It's very beautiful. It's soothing. It calms you. Um, fuch excuse me, fuchsia. It's all about healing. Helps you open up your heart chakra. Oh, sorry. It's all about self-love too. Self-worth. Peace. Um, it also helps you connect to that very zen energy. Um, it helps the connection to the other side as well. I don't have a piece right here. It's the weirdest stuff. It looks more like... This is a raw piece. But anyways, when it's raw and it's not tumbled... It feels fake. That's the only way I can say it. When you pick it up and you feel it feels fake. It's like, um, oh crap, where's that other? I don't have, have that here to show you. But anyway, yeah, it, it feels fake. Um, some of you, Larimar, okay? This is expensive. Comes in chunks. Here's another piece. Uh, this is just out of a different mind. But anyways, I love this. I can lay and put this instantly on my throat and it just calms me down. 
You can feel it go through your whole body. It's amazing. I love stones and I love crystals. Um, they're just a part of who I am. I get so excited. I can go into a crystal a stone shop and stay there for hours. But pick up some Larimar. It's expensive, but it works. Helps with anxiety, too. Um, it helps you have more patience. Um, kyanite is amazing. Okay. Kyanite. I just put this in my hand. I just feel all the way through me. It's like I calm down. Oh, you can breathe. Anyways, kyanite is amazing. Um, it is for patients. Um, kyanite is helps with learning. People don't ever talk about that part of it. Just so is fluorite too. Um, but kyanite helps you with anxiety. People that have panic attacks, it will help with. Um, if you can't sleep at night, put that next to your bed. Um, just trying to think of oh, a few things here. I got amethyst here. Amethyst always helps heal with the heart. Amethyst always can calm you down as well. Just make you feel better. Um, so get you some of that. All right, we're going to move on. Patience and planning and material harvest. That's what you've been doing. Okay. That's where you've been in hermit mode, divine masculine. Patience and planning. It's going to pay off. You're going to have a material harvest. Okay. Just keep the street right away. All right, some of you out here got your street rat pregnant. And that's why some of you are hiding from your divine feminine. Because apparently this was a one night stand a while back ago. And you went and revisited this person from the past. And boy, were you shocked to hear what they had to tell you. It was not what you were expecting. It wasn't what you wanted to hear. But, um, yeah, so for some of you, there is a feminine um, energy out there. She's younger. She's not an, she's not somebody that's older. This is younger feminine energy. She, she, she runs around in that, I'm going to trap you. You're going to be mine forever. I'm going to give you a baby. And she thinks that that's going to create the happy family. It's not. Because she's in for a rude awakening because you're not going to marry her. Mm-mm. No, you're not. Nope. 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 Um, at this uh, feminine energy, she already has other kids, too. So she's also looking for a father figure um, to take over. So um, she wants someone to step up. Okay. Oh, God, here we go back to that energy again. Okay, so uh, bring this up. There's a mother and daughter tag team out there. And um, they're very dysfunctional. It's just freaky and weird. Anyways, they go around and they target people. They each have different jobs besides at night what they do. But anyway... I'm bringing it up because some of you encountered um, this mother-daughter tag team. They also play around with, they, they think they're witches. They tell everybody they're witches. They're very open about it, um, these two. Um, but the daughter now is pregnant. But the mother's sleeping with them too. It's just a mess. It's it's a mess. I don't even. We're not going to give this a lot of energy. If this is your situation, just get away from it because it's going to not bring anything good. This child. Oh. They don't understand that these two, they play with stuff that they don't know enough about. She's actually hurting her pregnancy by some of the things that she's playing with and getting involved in. I don't know if she'll carry this baby to full term. But they're a part of, there's a king of pentacles out here. He's, they're a part of his soiree, okay? They're a part of his little bitch crew, his, um, what do you call it? Uh, spirit. Oh, his the entourage. 
Oh my God, they're showing me a picture of people and they're like all getting let out like out of a bar and they're all chained together. They're like the, the chain gang and this is his entourage. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, this mother energy of the tag team, she's very demonic. Very, 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 very demonic. If you sleep with her, you will definitely have immediately. Wow. She carries the death energy on her. Yeah. She plays with things that she should not. She gets paid. This is for someone else, too. This is someone else. Sorry, I'm done with the mother-daughter thing. There's another uh, feminine energy out here. She's older, feminine energy. Mother. She has adult children. She even has grandchildren. This feminine energy, she's in crone energy. Um, you do, you need to get away from this person. This person, divine masculine some of you, this is a mother energy um, to some of you. Some of you, this is an ex-wife to you. Um, she carries death energy on her. She likes it. She doesn't plan on changing it anytime soon. She likes to roll in this energy. She is very comfortable as this person that she portrays. She hurts people. And not in a good way. No, she, hurt, she she hurts people. Not in a good way. She, um, there's also, oh, there's a couple, yeah, there. There's a king of swords energy. Um, this pertains to, and there's a king of pentacles energy out here that this pertains to. None of these masculines I'm talking about are, um, in their 30s. They're all older. Right now that I'm talking to. That they're, 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 They have mothers like this. This king of pentacles. Uh, energy. His mother's had to wear wigs for a long time. That's from all of the spell work. She's lost her hair. She's told other things. She's had a lot of elements. Yeah. That's because of the things that she does to other people. There is also a Gemini feminine energy out here that's um, a mother, grandmother. She's very demonic. She's pulled this off forever and nobody ever knew it. No one ever knew the people that she hung around with secretly. Um, yeah, she's part of an organization that's evil. She pays people to do her dirty work. She knows how to do it, but she pays people to do it because she doesn't. She always, she thinks that nobody will trace this to her. That her hands are clean, and then even if they did, she would make up a lie and throw them anyways under the bus. So, anyways, that's for someone out there. But divine masculine, this is you. You're in this healing, beautiful energy right now. You're gaining wisdom. Okay, but you do have the devil on your ass. Yep, you do. Uh-huh. This is your dark side of you. This is your shadow side. This is your other side to your shadow. Look. It's your dark and light. When you're in your emperor energy and when you're in your devil energy. You're learning how to balance this out. Ah, yeah, look at that. You're learning how to balance this out. <laughs> yes. I love it. All right. Let's go back. The key and cups. He he wanted to resurface. He's sad. He's sad. He's in his feelings. He's feeling really, really bad. He's done something. 
Somebody got the best of him. Yeah, he was playing around with a bunch of people. But really, every one of these people is a one ring circus. It's not an act that you follow. Okay? Go back, though, and watch um, the Divine Feminine reading. Because this came up in there. Um, totally different story. Totally, totally, totally different story. But anyways... He had a coochie crew. And they got him stuck in the mud. Big time. Big, 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 big time. It was just easier for him to listen to these people than to listen to his own truth or listen to his own heart. He knew, though, deep down in his heart that they were the ones that were full of shit. But he didn't have a backbone. So, I don't know. Hopefully, he's gone out now and bought him one. I don't know. I don't know. But he's also played around with several different people. Young, old, middle aged, whatever, you know. Ah, we got the Golden Palace. We love that energy. Bah, yeah. So, when this card comes up, first of all, number 23 is very, 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 very magical number. It is also directly linked to King Tut. Um, so, when this card comes up, the Golden Palace card, this is, you know, represents good fortune, happiness, your hard work paying off. Um, your wishes fulfilled, like all that ambition that you had, it's paying off. Okay, you're entering a new time of happiness, a new your new time of fulfillment. Um, love, 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 love. Self, like you finally have you love yourself again. This is about self worth. Okay, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um. This is like living your best life. This is like everything that you worked up to. You finally made it there. This is like your tangible rewards. Okay. But you got to be careful when this card comes up. Because there's only one person you're meant to have this with. And there's several people in the background trying to take that from you. Okay. Not wanting you to have it with your person okay you go backwards with these karmics you won't be hit you won't be going to the golden palace you won't okay all of you masculines have one thing in common here and i love this you're very powerful powerful beyond what you understand some of you know how powerful you are. You're scared of it. Some of you, when you came into contact with your divine feminine, your twin flame, your twin ray, your life partner, whatever, your soulmate, but that one special person that does it for you like no one else does it, it activated you into this wizard of awareness. Okay, you are now manifesting with something bigger than you. It's your own magic that is dormant, that lies inside you. Like I said, the spark has been lit with your soul and your spirit. She lit it. Scared the hell out of you. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is about being mindful, observant with your own magic, with your craft, not using it for bad things. This is about waking up to this person and knowing you have a bigger purpose to use this part of you for. Okay? This also applies to uh, the your environment around you. Is this environment that you're living in, the people you're around, is this conducive to the magic that lies within you that's beautiful? It's of light. It's not darkness. Because some of you are around people that is pulling the darkness out of you. 
Um, when you step into th this wizard of awareness, you got clarity. You don't need anyone to tell you anything. You don't need anyone's opinions. Remember, opinions are like assholes. Everyone has one. Have your own opinion for a change. Make your own decisions. Like I said, you, if you need to go out and purchase a backbone, then don't take that karmic out on the town for one night. Go buy you a backbone. Get your balls back. She's got them around her neck. She's using them as clackers. And this is when you're I'm trying to think of the best way how to relate this. Um, there's a shift within you, okay? Um, and it's a shift of awareness now. It's awareness of who you are, the power you hold, the power that's within you, the light you carry. You're a light bearer, you know? And it's using it. It's for the good, though, okay? There's going to be miracles that are going to unfold around you if you allow it and you're aware. Oh, that's, God, that's, that's some good stuff, Divine Masculine. All right, we never even, let's get over here. Let's get over here to the, wow, okay, I just split this. Self-acceptance. Truth. Surrender. Solar plexus. This is where all your creativity is. So clear, clean this up, man. If you're out whoring around, you're not going to be creative. Huh. Internal explore. This is going inside, figuring things out, and getting some freedom. And showing that you can be vulnerable. It's okay. Yeah. You're grounding yourself. Your root chakra. Look. That's awesome. There's more into that deck, I swear. Maybe not. All right. What else have we got? These are my starseed cards. This is not this whole deck, I swear. Ah, I got several of these, but I love these. Mm. The unspeakable. <gasps> the sound of the universe. So some of you might be starting to use sound frequency. It will adjust you. It will help you undo blockages, especially if you're sleeping at night to this, okay? I have to turn it on my phone all the time at night. My dogs love it. They love it, okay? Um, you got a lot. You're opening up to being vulnerable. You know you need to, because if you don't, you're not going to get back to where you want to be with this person, okay? The ethers are talking to you. Yeah, they are. They're telling you unspeakable things that you have not been aware of. They're on your ass. Okay? They're trying to communicate with you. Be careful, though. Somebody's going to try... Uh, this, these people that are casting and going up against you. Just remember... They're going... They're going to try to attack your crown. Because if they can attack your crown... They're going to get you confused. They're going to get you thinking not clearly. They're going to get you mentally stuck in your head. So like you feel paralyzed. You can't make a good decision. Okay. Don't. Don't. You're going to have to power up right now. Your root chakra. I'm not worried about. It's your crown. Anyways. Vulnerabilities here. Okay. You're going to have to be vulnerable with this feminine. She's not going to. I just heard. She doesn't have to be vulnerable with you. She doesn't have to do anything she doesn't want to do. I don't know what, what that's about. Okay. You want freedom. From the situation you are in. But the, the, this is what this feminine also represents to you. Is freedom. She's independent. She She's a free spirit. Whoever, you know, um, she's playing <laughs> in the outfield. They just told me she's playing in the outfield. She doesn't want to be in the infield right now. She's in the outfield. She's watching everybody. She knows there's going to be a domino effect real soon here. Okay. You're becoming finally your own internal explorer. Okay. 
this is good this is upright this means you're not out whoring it or uh, around you may have slipped a bit here and there but um i i don't think you're what people don't understand about these th three party situations these um orgies these sex parties and things like that they, what they don't understand is, is that everybody is intermixing each other with their karma uh, and people and their different body fluids and all their own stuff going on i uh, you're taking on everybody's shit it's like everybody's dumping their garbage their trash into every, each other so this tells me you guys aren't doing that, so I'm very proud of you because this is about your foundation here. Yes, it is. You're in your stability, and your creativity all stems from here. So if you keep that vessel of yours protected, and you, you're, you're not supposed to use your your solar plexus chakra in a lustful way if you want to create with this if you want to um bring new opportunities forward with this energy you need to do it with pure intention from your heart okay not from a place of lust because what you're going to create is more of that and it's a lack lust is always a lacking energy i don't care what anyone says it's always a poor energy. That's a lacking mindset. That's a lacking energy. Okay? It's a desperate energy. So you're going to surrender. And you already have to the divine. But this is... You're going to surrender to her. Then we have truth here. When everything is done as an offering, even the act of speaking, you get shown when to talk and when to be silent. Your words come from the silence, not fear. You do the talking, dear Lord. Take me over and speak through me. So, once again, you must have a feminine out here that you're supposed to match up with. And you both have got a lot to say to the world. You have a lot to share with the world. And I think just your stories alone are going to help a lot of people. But you got, you're going to have to come together for this. Okay? Self-acceptance. Nothing is more exhausting than endlessly working on yourself. When you offer your whole being fully to love, self-acceptance arises spontaneously. May I rest in our oneness, dear divine. And, and you know, I can relate to this because I think sometimes when we work, it can be exhausting, all the work on ourselves. And so sometimes I'll dive into helping other people and because that's easier for me than sometimes to help my own self. I've always been that way, though. So I, I'm telling you that because I think there's a masculine energy or a couple of you out here that you're not doing that self-care as much as you need to for yourself. But you're really good at showing that self-care to other people, perhaps. But you got to give more to you. You're very important. And it's time that you realize it. It's time you accept it. And it's time you take care of it. Okay? All right. Let's get out the herbary. My herbary book. Where did it go? Oh, here's the cards. Oh, it's late. I gotta go to bed. <clears throat> All right. Hold on. I have to have that book to read about the different plants. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. All right. Oh, my God. This video is going to take forever to upload so long. Oh, well. A lot of information to get out to you guys. Anyways. I enjoy doing this. So, I love helping you guys out. All right, let's see what you guys get, Divine Masculines. What 
do we got? Oh, that came right out. Light in the darkness. St. John's Wort. You guys have been dealing with some depression. That's okay. This is upright. We like it. It's upright. You get one more. Ah, oh, the Divine Feminine's got. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, you guys got three. Ah, oh, okay. We have to read about all three of these because my favorite tree is in here. My very favorite tree. My dad and I, our favorite tree is a quaking aspen. Wait till, this is going to be the last one we're going to end this with. Wait till I read this to you. It is my fave. Okay, so the light in the darkness, okay? St. John's Wart. So this tells me some of you have been dealing with some serious depression. It's understandable right now. <clears throat> Retrogrades tend to... Bring that on because we start to think about a lot of things that we've closed ourselves off from that, that we don't want to deal with. We also, um, things will surface that we need to purge. And so many times before when it surfaced, pushed it down, threw the band-aid on there. It's not today, Satan. Well, guess what? It is today now. Okay. And this is, we got comfort again. And that's funny because when I opened up the book, for the divine feminines, it opened right at Comfrey. So I'm like, well, we got to go back and do Comfrey. And then I went off about Comfrey because it's one of my most favorite plants and herbs to work with because of how many healing properties it has. I used to use it for my oldest son all the time when he was playing lots and lots of sports. But I use it. In fact, I just I had to stop the other night and get another bag of it because I was out. And um, I don't have any growing right now. And so I stopped to get a loose leaf bag of it um, because you can use it for, um, you can treat bronchitis. You can treat um, people that have had, like, they feel like they're getting the onsets of like walking pneumonia, um, broken ribs, cracked ribs, bruising. Um, oh my gosh. It works with your skin. It works with, um, like, if you have torn ligaments, tendons, things like that. Broken, anything broken. Anyways, it's amazing. It heals, like, overnight, literally. And you can make, I haven't figured this out yet, but my ex-sister-in-law used to do it. Um, she made a wrinkle cream out of it. I've got, I've yet to figure that one out, but I will. I will get that one figured out. Okay, so let's start here. Light in the darkness, St. John, John's Wart, okay? Um, the Latin name is Hypersium Perforitum. Okay, truth. St. John's Wart is scraggly and scrappy, completely lacking the charisma one would expect from an herb reputed to tame depression in a single bound. But that's her beauty. She's a magician and a thief. Not the bell of the ball. She knows how to steal the heat from summer's solstice sun, hold it in her flowers, and make it last all winter long. This is her greatest trick, bringing light and warmth to your darkness by helping to recreate the electric leap of sympath... I can't say this word. S-Y-N-A-P-S-E-S. I can't say it right now. Furring and energy moving along. Call on St. John's Wort when you need a sip of sun sunshine so you can find your light in the darkness. This is what this feminine is to you, Divine Masculine. She is your light in your darkness. And you know what? When you guys come together, connect, and you end up staying together, guess what? You're going to be her light, and her darkness. All right. S sipping the sunshine. Like St. John's wort, you can store sunshine. Stand facing the sun with your eyes closed and your feet planted firmly on the earth. Feel the light coming through your eyelids. Breathe the sunshine in through your nose and taste it on your tongue. Repeat often, allowing the sun's fire to stroke your inner fires. Okay? Um, 
Hmm. This is about winter, but we just came out of winter, so I'm not going to read that. Okay, let's move on to Comfrey. Here's Comfrey. Okay. What needs mending Comfrey? Comfrey, oh, and so this comes from the, uh, the Latin family, Symphantium officinale. Okay, Comfrey loves to mend skin, bones, soil. There's so much to do. She dives deep, magicking molecules, rebuilding broken chains, restacking cells into tissue and tissue into muscle. This is joyous work for Comfrey, so she tends to work quickly, sometimes too quickly. Her boldness can border on recklessness and, and her mad scientist exuberance. She can get ahead of herself and forget the first steps. Comfrey is a reminder to work systemic, systemically, starting with the deepest layers and working your way out. Even creative endeavors need to be built on a solid foundation. If Comfrey appears, ask what needs mending and then pause to assess and plan before diving in. Okay? Remember, the flip side of mending is breaking. We're trained to appear strong and often feel guilt or shame when we break. But unmaking is as much a part of the cycle as making. And breaking can be incredibly liberating. If you've swung a sledgehammer during a home renovation project, you know this is true. It is. That smashing, the stomping, the pummeling. It, you know, it just makes you feel good because you're getting that out. Like even beating a... Like, a pillow if you have to, but it's getting all of that out. All right, disillusion. Uh, this is a reflection. It's easier to break something than it is to repair it. And yet there's a rare release in breaking in disillusion. When we seldom let ourselves feel. Think of the caterpillar that turns into DNA soup during its time in the cocoon so it can emerge as a butterfly. Hmm. What if you knew without a doubt that you could break and be remade? What if you could find joy in the breaking? What possibilities might this open up in you? When real metamorphosis has begun, we run into a welter of dissolving experiences. We may feel that everything is falling apart, that we're losing everyone and everything. Dissolving feels like death because it is. It's the demise of the person you've been, not the person you're becoming. All right, Quaking Aspen. We are one. Ah, what a great way to end this, right? So, Latin is populus tremolis, tremodis. Despite the trembling of her leaves, Aspen isn't really scared. How do I know? Because deep underground, all the Aspen's hold hands. To our eyes, aspen trees are individuals, but in their roots, in their hearts, they're one. This is not mere metaphor. Aspens grow in what's called a clonal colony, and they do. And aspens do not like to grow down here in the valley. Aspens like to grow on inclines as well, okay? People always tell them, oh, are they always uprooting? Why don't they last very long? They send up their runners. They do that because they hate where they're at. Okay? They're stressed out. When a tree, you see the roots come up or you see a tree push itself out, the tree's in distress. It has dove down its roots so far, it's not finding water. Okay? But aspens don't like, they like to, they like the cooler mountain climate and they like to grow on an incline they grow flat no problem too but they really like to grow on the inclines okay aspen grows they grow in what's called the colonial colony sending out their underground suckers to find a lovely spot to brout a sister tree i should have known that was going to happen
Okay, I don't know where that ended, sorry. <sighs> okay, we'll go back to aspens grow in what's called the colonial colony, surrounding out underground, I mean sending out underground suckers to find a lovely spot to sprout a sister tree. Aspen groves are among the largest and the oldest single organisms on the planet. Isn't that cool? When you see an aspen quivering, it's often with laughter. She giggles gently at the human race, who seems to have forgotten that deep in our roots, we too are one. Aspens ask us to root into this sense of connection so we can let go of our fears. Aspens always know she's part of something greater than herself, a sense we humans often lack. Take a few moments to connect with the comforting awareness that everything is connected. Um, okay, the reflection, healing the whole. The Cherokees see our obsessive need for individualism as a sickness. In that culture, when a person is ill, healing is considered a requisite, not only for the individual, but also for the family and the whole community. How do you balance your individuality with your place in your family or your community? Does your drive to be your unique self leave you more alone than you wish? Or have you lost your sense of self, of personal space within the collective of your marriage, family, or your workspace? Call on Aspen. She knows how to be cradled by the collective while stretching her very individual limbs up to the stars. So, a beautiful way to end this reading for you guys. Just remember the aspen, my favorite tree, my dad's. I used to lay in bed at night, always have my windows open and hear those leaves, how they, how they move together. It's my favorite sound. I love that sound. I had them all over my yard. And my dad had them all over his yard. And my uncle, my dad's little brother had them all over his yard. And they brought every one of those trees down out of the mountains, out of the ski resorts. Yeah. Anyway, you guys take really, really, really good care of yourselves. Have a fabulous rest of your week. Be happy. Be good to yourselves. You guys have come a long way in your journey. So many of you have been through a lot. You really have. But I want you to know, it's going to be worth it. Just don't give up. There's a lot of people out there that want so many of us to give up. Don't give up. We need you masculines out there in the collective. We need you guys to step up to the plate. You're more appreciated than you know. Just own it. All right, guys. Have a beautiful week. Take care of yourselves. I love you to the moon and back.